did you guys hear that <laughs> okay i know you didn't hear that clearly but we'll talk about that much more later in today's video hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is okewumi and you are on to the big brother niger review season six live on the worries talk show it's day three out of 72 days in the big brother house and i must say <laughs> that I, I i i really appreciate the drama this aspect i really bring in i mean they've started fighting they've started arguing they've started forming uh some sort of clicks in the house but all of that you get to know in this videos in the meantime if you are watching my videos for the first time please do ensure to subscribe like share and leave a comment and to all my returning subscribers god bless you i love you so yes i'm going to start with yesterday's game so apparently what white money and um Buma were talking about <laughs> Okay, so apparently Boma was selling white um, white money that ah, he's already tired of this house. Like everywhere is boring. Like they need to like have some fun to spice it up. They were not saying, okay, let's play game, let's play. It was like, okay, well, so does this game that wants to play? Does he have? Is it like does it involve any sexual stuff? And the person told him, and he's like, why am I not playing it? Like why are we here? What's now the fun in the game? Like I beg, if it's not anything sexual, I beg, it's not play that. Um, that somebody will ask him that if we are playing truth today, would they be kissing? So apparently, looks like this set of housemates, they don't want to like um, give us that immorality on TV. Because like, they've been avoiding this truth today. Anytime they want to play it, like 10 people will say, ah, they don't want to play because they don't want to do any kissing or they don't want to do any any type of smooshing on TV. So finally, the housemates agreed to play charade um you know few of the housemates they said okay let's play charade i know they started the game peacefully but it didn't end and well now the person goes and you tell the person the person I don't know what you said i literally So guys, this is what led to the argument. Uh, first of all, when they started the show, before this major argument, they had a little misunderstanding. You know, it's a game of charade where you tell your team player, like another team will give you a word, you tell your team player, like you have to tell your team player by describing the word without having to speak or say anything. So they were doing occupation yesterday night. So apparently, um, you know, what caused their first major misunderstanding? Um, Irene gave... Um, a, a a word for the next team for their team to like describe and the occupation she gave was cultural producer and after when like they said oh when they were trying to describe it, and it was hard to describe and people asked okay what's the actual word and Irene said it's cultural producer and they were like ah, ah is there any profession like cultural producer that is it not called cultural curator and like you know they started arguing and Maria said that Irene made up the word how Irene was trying to explain that how can I make it up like this is my profession that's what I do I'm a cultural producer and you're telling me i'm making it up and you know they argued and they argued for a while you know and i was like i can't be telling me i'm making it up and you know they, they like and Maria was like okay it's okay it's okay it's, it's exists it's, exists, it's fine and they continue playing the game they even started over they gave new rules and then now it was maria's turn for them to give Ari's group a word to describe and you know while they were still discussing the word um Irene whispered something into angels yes and you know me was like why would you be whispering something to angel angel was in Irene's team and me was like why would you be whispering something into angels ear when we have already said the word um Irene was like i didn't even hear the word and angel was like they've not told her the word so why why can't she still communicate with her team member and i was trying to explain that she wasn't actually like telling her the word because they felt that 
Ari heard when they were discussing the word that they want to give Angel. Then that's what she was telling Angel in her ear. She was telling Angel how to describe the word that they were discussing on and planning on giving um their team and so um that was what they felt that was what they thought was happening and sony was like that's cheating uh -uh. that do they think they are kids how can they be cheating like that and they are lying and angel was trying to explain that neither of them heard the word that Irene was just telling her how to describe like if you are describing tips to describe like if you're going to describe this thing eh if it's three letter words do it like this or do it like that and they've not heard the word so they still have the right to still speak to each other since angel has not gotten the word from the other team and you know this led to a very very huge misunderstanding first of all ni accused them um angel was still upset with the fact that ni accused them and saying that why did that why do they think that people here are kids and um, maria got in to the argument saying that ah, she's going to bed already that she's tired of all this and angel's like ain't go to bed who cares nobody cares and you know they started swearing at each other and they started arguing so guys me i'm not even judging see it's just a it's clearly a misunderstanding nobody's right nobody's wrong they thought that they were cheating and the other group you know because of they were misunderstood they got upset trying to explain so while they were arguing and arguing and arguing Irene was just like see this like in this game maria has been annoying her because this is not the first time that she's saying they are cheating they are cheating and then she, she repeated the period time when she was uh, maria was arguing with her and saying that and that that word she said doesn't exist and she's really upset like she doesn't even take maria seriously again so while she was lamenting sham you know they all like angel said she's not playing again she went to sammy to tell him what happened you know she said she was pissed off because maria wanted like maria could maria didn't understand what happened that oh it's just a game but she expected them to apologize so because they didn't apologize she said she wasn't going to play again but at the end of the day Nii went to have a talk with Ari, and you know Ari explained what exactly happened to me and he was like oh, okay then saga and Ari, you know while saga and harry were having a conversation saga was even like don't even mind that maria like she she's too um okay Ari was like that girl will leave that one she's stupid like okay she doesn't want to use the word stupid but like she's quite annoying and saga was like she even called him a fool and i was like eh she called you a fool like i wanted to stand up i was like ah no 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 don't extend it like let's it, let's it just slide and she's like why would she call you a fool and all of that so guys i don't know what you think i don't want to be the judge what do you guys think about this little argument that just struck up today i feel like um this is not the first time maria is entering an argument with anybody or somebody and with the way she has been arguing with people lately and having misunderstandings and talking and talking i am suspecting that she's the wild card because i feel like she's doing all this drama to distract the housemates i just hope they are shining their eyes so that they'll observe who this wild card is moving on Dr. Mr. Boma. <laughs> Anyways, um, that's Beatrice and Boma in the bathroom. You know, I think um, Beatrice um, broke her nails. I don't know. Yeah, I think she broke her nails and Boma was trying to help her fix it so romantically. The, the pussies the soft voice guys <laughs> i don't know whether it's in my head but i don't want to i don't want to like conclude that yes but i could see a chemistry between boma and beatrice not just this video it's not just about this video the way they play together and the way they like have these sensitive conversations with each other i feel like there is going to be i predict a ship between these two and yes um he was actually helping her out you know taking care of her hand even told her not to do anything that anything she wants to do that he'll help her out that let her go and rest let her rest her hand very well well that's so cute and romantic at the same time moving on guys
Question. You say, when will this be over? I thought we should say, when will this be over? So, can it be over? Yeah, can I rather? I felt disrespected. No, no, it's just not a question. To you, to you is okay, but to me, I felt it's not because, because, because when you are giving your advice, you don't say, boy, finish. No, no. Your tone was very nice. The way you said it was very nice. No, it's good to apologize for that. Yes, the guys are settling scores. So apparently yesterday night, when um, they were having this, you know, you know, because of the task, they agreed, they finally came to an agreement that each and every one of them should talk about their culture. And then they will take out one or two stories from each of their stories about their culture and then incorporate it in the drama so everybody started talking now it now got to white money's turn and before white money started they said that our ah, evil culture is very vast it's not something that somebody can summarize but i shall like you should talk shall summarize it and you know white money was talking and talking talking forever and he was dozing you know <laughs> White money took so long, to, although it was saying some very knowledgeable and helpful stuff, but it was saying some things that it cannot be really actually relevant to this drama. Do you understand? Um, so it was taking long, and Perry was like, "Guy, please, can you like finish? Like, it don't they get too long and something like that?" And so because of that, you know, um, white money confronted Perry this morning and it was like what he did what he said yesterday made him feel disrespected like why would you do, like why why would he be talking and white money would and um and Perry would say um um can, uh, guy finish and Perry was like I can't if you if you want an apology I'm not apologizing because I didn't see anything you were taking too long other people said their own you get and why your own was taking like forever and we have other things to do and i said guy can you feel so like i even said it in a rude way i interrupted you in a rude way i said it politely enough that you should round up so what's the point i'm not going to apologize for that and you know after that um white monisha said to him um, to Perry, i might not feel like he disrespected him but to him he felt disrespected and i was apologizing to the guys for the tone he used at them because you know while he was talking some people were talking at the background the way he shouted and you know i told you that white money is very bossy and so when one thing white money i noticed that white money dislikes so much in the house is when he's talking and somebody else is talking he can't get mad he will scream the way he will shout like i'm talking like you think he's talking to 10 year old children do you understand but yeah i said it times i know that he doesn't like it so when people do it he tends to disrespect them or shout or like you know sound very authoritative so it was apologetic to guys that he's sorry for the tone that he used yesterday at them i know they hugged and you know they all parted yeah, ways I'm, I'm glad i'm glad to hear i like to you know when they say somebody never gives up that's the definition of saga <laughs> apparently you know saga had said on monday in the diary room that ah, he has forgotten about nini that nini has already rejected him and that she told him that she already has a boyfriend outside the house but let me tell you the truth saga did not give up because throughout this week he has been following nini like fly like they're always together eating together talking cuddling do you understand so they've always been together since that monday that he said that, yeah she has rejected him and he has backed off he he doesn't look like it doesn't act like he has backed up and um for one thing is for sure one thing i know for sure is that nini kind of likes saga or maybe because you know they've been together for long and because like you know he was already like although that girl was lying on his chest before you knew it nini said she's having neck pain that she wants a massage so i felt like she was i beg please leave my saga alone for me but um i don't know what i see is saga pressing on and not you know not minding the fact that she has a boyfriend outside the house still trying to like try his luck you know try to be good to her try to you know maybe she might change her mind maybe she might fall in love maybe she might let him in i feel like that's what saga is doing and it might work for him who knows what do you guys think let me know in the comment section below
They're giving the best gist for the last. So apparently the housemates were rehearsing for their drama on Friday and Boma is the king. <laughs> and so um, Maria kissed him just to show him how it is done according to her. And I must say that was a very <laughs> unexpected one. Even Boma was shocked. So, and you know, but in, in, earlier on, I told you that Boma said he's not playing any game that does not have anything sexual in it. I think this is the type of thing that Boma likes. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all we can take today on Big Brother Niger Review on the Women's Talk Show. Please, if you have watched this video this far, do ensure to subscribe, to show your love, to like encourage me, and to like you know just show your support all you just have to do is subscribe like this video and also leave a comment share to your friends as many people as possible and i love you i love you see you guys tomorrow have a wonderful day ahead bye